Hi everyone, thank you for watching. If you're watching this video on YouTube, don't forget to hit subscribe below. All of the ad revenue that we generate from these ads will go to local New Zealand charities. This update is to do with the month of September 2020, talking about all the changes that have happened last month. Now not a lot actually moved in those lower interest rates, the one, two and three years. We've seen those drop month after month down to about 2.45 and we're still hovering around the 2.45 to 2.49% for one year. But we did see at least one bank shift that five year rate so that it's now at 2.99%. Get that 2.99% for five years. That is an interesting issue. I think that could be good for some investment property owners. They could look at that and say, you know, we want to pay down this, this short term, the personal debt over the short term, but we just want to stick away that investment debt. We want to know what that is. 2.99% is only half a percent higher than the one year rate. That is an amazing spread. But what you are seeing is the banks pull other levers. How do they get you to go to them? They can't play with the interest rates anymore. The OCR isn't probably going to move till March next year. So how do they entice you? And we're back to cash contributions. Lately, at least two banks have said that they're going to change the way they do cash contributions, particularly around that first home buyer. One of them is guaranteeing some form of cash contribution for over 80% buyers and that's important because you don't always get a cash contribution if you have a low deposit or in other words you're borrowing over 80% so this bank is saying yes we will do that another one is saying we guarantee at least a minimum amount of $2,000 for cash contributions and that is for under 80% so people with a better better deposit the larger deposit so some really starting to pull those levers on getting you into the bank. At the end of the day, the first thing is, will the bank say yes to you? That's the criteria you have to meet first and then decide which bank suits your interest rate needs the most. In OCR news, we're still looking at negative interest rates mid next year. That's what the economists are still saying. Again, we're not going to be paying negative mortgage rates, unfortunately, but we could be heading for those 1.5 to 1.9% interest rates for the one year, which is really, really cheap, even by international standards. In the meantime, don't forget to pay off your mortgage as much as you can while we've got these cheap interest rates. In the future, you'll look back when interest rates are back at 5% and you'll wish you'd made use of these super cheap rates. So talk to someone about how you can make extra payments on your mortgage and how you're going to structure them going forward. Thanks for watching. We do this interest rate update every month. Make sure to subscribe below to make sure you're getting them. Cheers.